All right, just wanted to show off some things real, real quick, because I got this a while ago. This is a uh, Mana Moon or Mana Moon deck box. My sister got this for me for my birthday last year. Um, my birthday was in November, and then this was supposed to be a November release, but I believe I didn't get this until January, February. I got this, well my sister bought this, I think it was like 50 bucks. I think this is reselling for like 100, 120 on eBay right now. But I was surprised, there was no videos on this on YouTube. I couldn't find a single one. This is the box that came in. But uh, I was wondering like why there was no videos on YouTube about this. So it's a single deck box, I believe it fits a hundred cards sleeved, or standard size cards. Like, you know, Magic, One Piece, Pokemon. It is really nice. This is metal. Metal little buttons here too. that better I'm not sure but uh so this fits cards here oh let's see so it does come with this it came with the little mana moon card I don't know what it's for but there you go mana moon.com they have really nice designs um, and then it came with dividers, which is really nice. Nice and thick. Same material as the box. This little faux leather thing. This one for like what the left, the right, and the middle tab. Like that. Pretty nice. So this box was called the Chidori. Which I was a little confused on because I thought Chidori was the weak ass move that Sasuke did. And I thought K Kakashi did Lightning Blade. But whatever. So this is the design. It's pretty nice. Custom art. It folds up like that. Strong magnet. Closes it. Um, so I did damage this a little bit when I first opened it. Very sad about that, but whatever. I won't be reselling it anyway. Um, but see, look. So, this is a dice tray. It comes off. And it is magnetic. Right there, right? So I thought this piece came off too. So when I try to pull it off, I actually ripped it. So I, I did add glue. I'm waiting for it to set, but um... Yeah, I, I tried to pull it off and I actually ripped it and I saw the inside cardboard and the glue in there. So, I'm actually re-gluing it to, set, to make it sit back. But yeah, I thought this came off because of the, uh, the dueling guard deck box I have. That comes off. Let me show that real quick. Right here. Oh. This one, this one's a double deck box, but this is not the XL size, it's the standard size. This one's really nice too. This one's Dueling Guard, though, it's a different company. And see this one? The box has come off. <laughs> Chill. Sorry about that. See, the deck box has come off from this thing, the sleeve, or whatever it's called. So I thought this one came off too, and then I, I ripped it. Very sad about that. So you can see a little bit, there's a little gap there. Because I ripped it, maybe I should add more glue, yeah. yeah. 
that's gonna annoy me but yeah so this looks really nice it's a size difference if you want to see this one this one I believe fits 160 I think 80 80 uh, sleeved or double sleeve maybe a little dice tray in the middle and then this one I believe fits like 100 or maybe 120 sleeve not sure I haven't tried it I haven't touched this since I got it and I ripped it and I was sad but I'm recently trying to play uh, Union Arena for Bleach so let's go and start playing some cardboard again yeah just showing this off real quick oh also here um not many people know about this but so this is a dual what dual sense dual shock i don't know what it's called i think it's dual sense this is a ps5 controller right but you can buy these back buttons attachment and it comes with the whole backing textured back this is a rubber texture nice and grippy feels really nice you have to install it yourself so it comes with all the tools and screws and screwdrivers and shit where you can open up the controller and then install this this one is with the metal um, buttons they do come with the plastic version but uh, I think it's only like a five ten dollar difference so might as well go with the metal but I would not go with the four button ones so this one's called I think Rise 4. It's from like Extreme Rate. It's on Amazon. Oh, they also come with a bunch of different colors. They have like black and blue, black and green. They have all red, um, white, white and gray, gray and black. This is the all black. Um, but yeah, so this one is supposed to be four. So there's two paddles are here, and then the two buttons are here. But my two, super stiff and basically won't press very hard to press those so I'm only using for the two they do have a two button version where it just come with the two paddles I'd get that one because this one's garbage um, this is my second one I did buy one before and then the board wouldn't work so I had to contact Amazon to get a replacement so I got to send out the, the original one soon send it back to Amazon but uh, the second the first one did also have stiff buttons um, but, but that one, the whole board didn't work. So this one, yeah, these two buttons barely work, but that's fine. I only need the two. I honestly wanted three, but that's fine. I could stick with two. I want the controllers to have two, but this is a great way to get a pro controller for PS5. You can use it on PC. I really like the feel of this controller, especially for uh, like Genshin action games the mushy uh, the buttons are really mushy which in a good way I usually hate mushy buttons but these buttons are really mushy so it's good for when you're mashing it for like an action game where you just mashing square a lot so I like this it's really nice 